for all the maths haters. For everyone who thinks maths is boring. For those that ask, who needs maths anyway? This video is for you. From the moment you were born, everything you've done, everywhere you've been, everything you've seen, has either been influenced by maths or can be explained with maths. Take a look around you. Maths is everywhere. Maths is so powerful, it's involved in every aspect of your life and you probably didn't realise it. It helps explain things and influence the decisions you make. Think about the influence maths has on your life and how it's shaped the world around you. Maths allows you to do things you love. We use maths in the construction of buildings and houses and to design and engineer just about everything in our lives. Maths allows us to communicate with others and gives us the ability to trade with people and businesses. As you can imagine, without maths, life would not be the same. Which can only mean one thing. Maths is our future. As the world population increases, maths is going to become more important than ever as we try to manage the population growth and reduce the strain on the planet's resources. Our future survival depends on it. New math theories and applications have expanded the use of mathematics in science, business and technology. And as we better understand maths and find new ways to apply our knowledge, we will be able to do things that are not possible right now. Maths will be responsible for new ideas, new industries and new ways to do things. And will influence our lives in ways we can't even imagine or understand right now. Think of the things we do today that weren't possible 10 years ago. So how will maths help us in the future? Maths will continue to help us harness the sun's energy, improve the existing renewable energy sources, and discover new renewable energy technologies so we can reduce our existing dependency on fossil fuels which is not sustainable. By applying maths with other sciences, we will find new and improved ways to feed the world's ever increasing population. As well as making advancements in the medical field by mathematically modelling diseases, their progression and treatments. Mathematics will continue to improve the efficiency of public transport systems to cater for population increase by finding patterns in people's transport habits. Maths will be used to reduce the traffic congestion in our cities by streamlining people's movements and will be crucial in a world with driverless cars. The planet's future and our survival may well depend on maths. So next time you hear someone say they hate maths, remind them that maths is our future.